Hi everyone, this is Shuo Yao. Today my presentation is about health insurance cross sale prediction. I'm going to predict health insurance owners who will be interested in vehicle insurance. First of all, let me introduce some background. Uh, this is actually a Kegel challenge, and in this challenge, an insurance company that has provided health insurance to its customers, now they want to sell their customers from past years vehicle insurance. There is vehicle insurance where every year customer needs to pay a premium of a certain amount to insurance provider company, so that in case of unfortunate accident by the vehicle, the insurance provider company will provide a compensation to the customer. The objective of this project is to determine which characteristics of current customers, age, gender, act are most predictive of a high auto insurance purchase probability. And the second is to choose a model to predict whether the policyholders from past years will also be interested in vehicle insurance. Before analysis, I'm going to introduce the data set first. There are certain variables, customer's ID, gender, age, do they have driver license, region code, do they have uh, vehicle insurance right now, their vehicle age, do they have their vehicle damaged in the past? Annual premium? Policy sales channel is a code represent the method company reach out the customers. Vintage is the number of days the customer has been associated with the company. And the last one is response. It is our target variables. One means customers is interested in buying vehicle insurance, and zero means they are not interested. The data sets are derived from Kaggle, and after cleaning and checking, the data sets are free of missing values. I do job ID variable from the data sets, and I also convert columns with text values to numeric values. After cleaning process, my first step is to do the correlation chart. I want to see which variables have relatively strong correlation to our target variables the response. And from the left chart, the numbers, and the right chart, the colors, we can see the vehicle damage, vehicle age, the policy sales channel, the age of customers, have kind of strong correlation to the response. And it helps me to determine which variables are worthy to discover. Although I already know gender does not influence the tendency of purchase of vehicle insurance very much from the past uh, correlation chart, I still want to discover the relationship between gender and uh, the response. Uh, from the sides of pie chart below, uh, we know the number of male and female are very close to each other. Uh, at the same time, the tendency to purchase auto insurance is very close too. There are around 10% females are willing to buy the auto insurance and 13% uh, male are willing to purchase auto insurance. The relationship between car age and the response is very interesting. From the left side of the column chart, we can see the main customers who are interested in buying vehicle insurance are those customers whose vehicle age is between one and two years. However, in the below pie chart, we can see the customers whose vehicle age is over two years have the highest probability 
to purchase vehicle insurance. Actually, the average probability is around 12%, so the 30% is relatively very high probability. It seems like people are more willing to buy vehicle insurance when their vehicle age increases. The car damage is another important variable, and the result is very obvious. There are almost 0% probability to buy auto insurance for these customers who have not got their vehicle damaged in the past. And in contrast, customers who have got their vehicle damaged in the past have 24% probability to purchase auto insurance. Uh, the relationship between the response and previous insured is very similar to the relationship between the response and the car damage. From the column chart, it's very obvious that uh, customers who don't have vehicle insurance are more willing to buy vehicle insurance. And the few of customers who have vehicle insurance are interested in buying the vehicle insurance. The policy sales channel is anonymized code, so we don't know the meaning of it, but there are some outstanding spot, like channel 26, channel 124, and channel 152. Uh, in channel 26, and channel 124, uh, more customers are willing to buy auto insurance. And it seems that in channel 152, the efficiency is very low. The last important variable is age. From the upper linear chart, you can see there are a large number of customers whose age is under 30 years. And in contrast with the below chart, those customers whose age is under 30 have low tendency to buy auto insurance. And the customers whose age is between 33 and 50 have high probability to buy auto insurance. In conclusion, customers who have below characteristics have high probability to buy auto insurance. The first is age. It's better the customer age is between 33 to 50. And they don't have auto insurance right now. They have their vehicle damaged in the past. And their vehicle age is at least more than one year. After basic exploratory, our final step is to choose a better model. And I choose three models, Logistic Regression, XGBoost, and LGBM. According to their accuracy and AUX score, the light GBM is the best one. This is accuracy and AUX score is the highest. And in the Below table, it is a sample of the prediction. Uh, the response is the probability the customer is willing to buy the car insurance. And that's it. Thank you, everyone.